So now that the actual PTB side, uh, you know, I just went over the patch notes, you know how disappointed I was. I'm going to just go over why I actually think now that I've seen all these things in action. Uh, so there's actually quite a few different things since the PTB. Uh, mostly just actually new things. Wraith got nerfed. Not sure if I agree with that, but... I mean, whatever. You know, the killers are just really having a rough this patch, it seems. So to start off with some like, small changes here. Um, All of the add-on changes are pretty underwhelming. Um, Blights, add-ons didn't actually get nerfed. Uh, Alchem String was left untouched, which is very surprising, but... Um, it, it, he got two underwhelming buffs. Adrenaline Vial got buffed, it's still going to be shy. And uh, Summoning Stone got buffed, and it's still going to be shy. So, not, basically nothing's changed with Blight. If for Oni, Top Knot got nerfed. It's now half a second instead of one second that's cut off your charge. I mean, whatever. It was never really that good. It's going to be slightly worse now, but still won't be terrible at all. Um, what else? Uh, just a few small changes. Ghostface got a sh slightly shorter base cooldown on his ability, but the add-ons got nerfed. I, it's, that's a pretty shit change, to be honest. I don't see why they just don't cut the cooldown of that ability in half to, like, 15 seconds. It's still 24 seconds now by add-ons, so... And he did, none of his other add-ons even got changed. Like, his all his dog shit add-ons are just still dog shit, so now they, I didn't even change anything. Like, it's just so annoying. Uh, Death Singer's add-ons, basically the same. His iridescence got changed um, <coughs> slightly. Uh, Hellshiring gives you undetectable now. That's boring. That's shy. Um, but uh, iridescent coin is now twelve meters instead of fifteen meters to get the one shot down. Unfortunately, with this new change, you will not be hitting people at that distance because they will no doubt be juking the shit out of you. But you know, it is what it is. The uh, spirit nerf isn't actually in full effect yet. Her add-ons are. Actually quite interesting, some of them are actually pretty decent. Uh, there's a couple of shy ones though, but overall they don't seem to be too bad. Uh, but the, the nerf is in full effect, and the survivors in the PTB are pretty shy, so there's no really easy way to tell about how weak she's going to be. We're just going to have to wait for live servers for that. Um, she got new Terry Days music, I haven't actually heard it yet, because watching these streams and shit, you can never hear the Terry Days music or anything, but you know that was a surprise, which is nice. Um, haven't seen anything with Plague yet. Death Singer... Looks, it looks bad. It looks a lot worse. When I heard the 0 0.4 seconds, I thought, okay, wait, that's actually not too bad. But watching it in practice, just, it looks so slow. And the cooldown is what I expected, is when he drops his gun. He actually moves significantly slower for that 0 0.6 seconds. It's not just 0 0.6 seconds where you can't, like, you know, hit or, um, you know, vault or anything. It's 0 0.6 seconds where you actually moved at a decreased movement speed. So, he just looks so clunky. It's basically the exact same as what they did to Executioner. He's just clunky as shit now. It's gonna feel so terrible to play. It's a, it's a big nerf, like I said. It's enough to pretty much kill Death Singer. But, the biggest thing is the Terry Days nerf, in my opinion. I think that's what's just gonna completely kill this one. Because, you can just hold W now. You know, you got a huge warrant that's coming, so... You can just hold W, there's nothing changing that. Um, overall, there's some other miscellaneous changes, the perks are seem fine and stuff like that. The boon perks is what I want to talk about now. Some of these are pretty scary. Um, the first one I'll talk about is the one where you see the auras and shit when you channel the energy or whatever. That seems okay, it doesn't seem too strong, or whatever. Uh, the one that hides your scratch marks can seriously screw a killer, especially killers like Blight and Spirit, that, that rely on tracking and stuff like that, like you could really easily lose them. If they just run within the range of this totem, uh, which is really bad, but it doesn't seem that it'll be that strong, but it'll definitely be annoying. Uh, the one I'm scared about is the healing one. Uh, you basically just create a 28 meter range where anyone can go in there and just heal themselves um, in 16 seconds. That seems so strong. In a meta where med kits are the strongest thing, survivors don't even need to bring med kits anymore, because if one person has this perk, They've just got a healing station on the map. That, to me, that just seems too strong. You're letting everyone basically just have a, you know, uh, like a, a med kit. Just everyone's only got free med kits. And I, I think that's just too strong, you know? So, overall, not a huge fan of the perks. So, overall, what I think of this PTB, it's negative. You know, I was looking forward to maybe the uh, add-on changes. I was thinking Awning was going to get two good Iridescence. They buffed Renjiro's Bloody God, but it seems alright now. But Iridescent Family Crest is still the same. Uh, Ghostface still has got shit out of They changed three of Myers' add-ons, and they're barely even different. Like, I don't know. 
he's just disappointing. I have so many killer nerfs. Wraith got nerfed as well, which is a, a surprise nerf. Like, to me, this is just too much, like, in one patch. You're just nerfing the three killers. You're g giving boon tomes, which one of those look insanely strong. They're nerfing a few add-ons. They're buffing a few add-ons, but they're not even good buffs. But, you know, I, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see, but... For now, it just looks basically as bad as I expected. Death Singer looks terrible. He's so clunky looking. I'm not looking forward at all to playing it. Uh, I'm just really not looking forward to this patch at all. I, there, there really isn't anything to like. You know, I'm not excited about any of these changes. I'm just dreading it because I won't be able to play Death Singer anymore. You know, there's no interest in add-ons or anything. It just seems bad, personally, that is.